So this week, it's going to be all about blazers. As you can see, I got a few. <laughs> I'm like, Sharon, you have so many blazers and you really don't wear them. So this week, I'm going to focus on styling dresses, pants, skirts with my blazers that I have. So let's get started. Sharon here, Ageless Restyling. Thank you so very much for joining me for another week of getting ready for the office. And as I said in my intro, I'm going to feature all about blazers. I got a few, I got quite a few blazers. So let's get started. So today I am going to be wearing, I'm going to show you the blazer that I will be wearing with the outfit first. This blazer. As you can see, it still has the tag on it. And I thrifted this blazer from um, labels consignment shop I love this blazer it's um, Louis Farad blazer I love the color the black piping yeah look at this button this is a vintage blazer look look at the buttons I mean for, love this blazer and I have had <laughs> I've had this blazer in my closet for a while not worn it so I'm going to wear it today, and today's a good day to wear it because, y'all, you know, a couple of days ago, we were in the, um, the 70s, you know, high 60s, low, I think one day we even got up to almost 80 or something like that. And this morning, I get up, and we in the 40s, and the high is going to be like 50. I'm like, what in the world is happening? But anyhow, the weather is bipolar, so it gets me opportunity to just showcase my blazers blazers this week all right since it's so chilly I'm gonna wear some tights but I want to wear pattern tights so let's see um I don't know I feel like going <laughs> even though I think sometime this week is the first day of spring it's still cold so I'm gonna do a pattern tight so I just I should have picked I really should have picked this up before I come on came on camera but you know typical Sharon form I didn't but I think let's see here this one has a lot of fuzzy on it <laughs> I think I'm going to wear this one yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wear this one so let me go ahead put this tights on and come right back the tights is on the tights is on look at the pattern interesting huh okay got the tights on I showed you guys the jacket and I'm just gonna wear this um pleather it's not real leather pleather pleather skirt and this top with it and this is just an express top that I've had for a while. I love tops like this because it layers very well under my jacket. And where did I get this skirt from? Minano. Yeah, I got this, I got this from Style Week. Because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. And I just wanted, you know, a little leather imitation. So let me go ahead, put this on, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have my top. And skirt on and I misspoke I said that I think I said that the skirt was from style we actually came from Shein it wasn't style we so let me put the jacket on now I love this jacket I love the color love 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 the color and I so excited to be finally 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 wearing it on this very chilly day <laughs> so here it is isn't it just beautiful for me, the color, the color is everything. And it makes this cheap little pleather skirt look good. <laughs> it's it kind it just it just makes it look so good. I love it. Alright, now for shoes. I pulled out two pairs of shoes because I didn't know if I wanted to go with my suede, my black suede or patent leather. So we have two options here. 
my Sam Edelman patent leather or my Steve Madden suede. Let's see which one I'm going to wear. Let me pull out my trusty stand. I'm liking this little stand. And try one shoe on. Huh. Here we go. <laughs> hmm. Really not much of a difference. Here's the patent leather. Let me carefully turn around. And here is the Steve Madden suede. I already know which one I'm going to pick. <laughs> I already know in my mind which one I'm going to pick. Which one do you think I'm going to pick? Huh? The suede or the patent? Yeah, I'm going with the suede. I prefer the suede. <laughs> I think the um, suede looked better than the pattern for this outfit. Normally I like to change up the textures when I'm wearing like black, but the suede just looks, gives more like a seamless look to me. Yeah. So we're going with the suede. That finished. Now the rest of the accessories. I am going to be wearing, it's going to be bold. My accessories is going to be bold, y'all know Sharon. So this is a um, Paloma, Paloma Picasso belt, vintage belt, that I'm going to wear. When I wear this, most of the time I wear it as a necklace. So let's wrap this around a couple of times without choking myself. <laughs> and then letting it hang. Whenever I wear this belt, this is the way I like to wear it. To me, it's a perfect bold accessory. When I want to go bold, yeah, to me, this is a perfect bold accessory. You know, let me put a little bitty, let me put a, a little pin here, because it's showing a little bit too much cleavage. <laughs> Just put a little pin right here. If I was going out, it'll be different. But may I go to the office, so uh, I have to watch the amount of cleavage I show. Whoops, didn't do that correctly. Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, the pin is showing. I have to pin it without the pin showing. Come on. Stop giving me trouble. There we go. <laughs> yeah, invisible pin. All right. This looks much better, not showing a bunch of chest. So now we have the bold Paloma Picasso belt that I'm using as a necklace. I do have a Paloma Picasso earring, but I decided I didn't want to wear those earrings. I didn't want it to be matchy matchy. So. I am going with, I think, I brought two earrings in. I think I'm going to go with this one if I could open the bag. Just this vintage. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I, I'm going to go with this one. Whoop, wait a minute. Maybe I won't go with this one if it won't stay on my ears. Yeah, my earlobes have got, it's, it's thin. Wait a minute, this is not tight. It won't stay. Are you gonna fall? Yeah, it's going to fall. It's not tight, it's loose. All right, maybe I won't wear this one. <laughs> Let's try the other one, because this one is not cooperating. So maybe we go with this one. It's a good thing I brought two in. Because I didn't realize that one was so loose. Okay, let's see this one. Hopefully, I like this one. Please let me like. Let me show you guys this one. This is just the um, a button one. And this one works too because it's circle. 
and the, 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 the um the belt have the circle so it works it works <laughs> yeah it works for me yes I like it so we're gonna go with this bold Paloma Picasso and the bold earrings today now let me show you guys what my makeup is today so here's my makeup okay so what would my <laughs> yeah juvia's place magic mini <laughs> and today i have nana over my entire eyelid and then and the outer corner it's this color i can't read upside down so we can't see the name so it's this color on the um outer eyelid and on the inner eyelid it's this color so i use this one this one and this one those are the three colors i use from the juvia's place palette today and of course y'all know <laughs> yeah, I know my black radiance. <laughs> you know my my contour, my cheek, and my highlighter. Yep, these are the ones. My lippy today. I love this kind of nude color. Y'all, this is um Maybelline Color Stay, and the color is peachy. Look at this. Isn't it peachy? I love the peachy color. So that's what I'm wearing today. That's my lippy for today. Yep. I really love that peachy color from, from, from Maybelline. Now for the bag. I only brought one bag and it could only be one bag. And it is my Teddy Blake. So <laughs> this is the only bag, I think. Let me see if I like it. Because maybe when I see it with it, I may change my mind. The color is a tad bit off. But I think it works. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I think it works. I'm thinking, should I tie a scarf? Should I tie a scarf? Hold on, let me, let me see. Let's see. I'm acting like I have a whole bunch of time. I didn't pick anything out. Ooh, how long is this? Oh, look at this scarf. Does it pick up the color of the jacket? Because it has the color of the jacket. It has black and all the other colors. Let's try this. Let's see. How would it look on the bag? Did some kind of funky time. Does it look okay? Huh. Let me tie it properly. I like I like the colors in it because it picks up the colors that I'm wearing. But the question is, will it look okay on the bag? And that and it adds other variation of colors that work with the shades that I'm wearing. How do I want to tie it? I'm just, I'm just standing here trying to figure out. Because this is not a, um, a what you might call it, scarf for bags. But you know. You can use all your, you can use whatever you have to tie your back, to, you know, to use your scarves. Y'all yeah, know I'm not the best bow tier. Wait, no, this don't even look right. Hold on, hold on. My OCD is kicking in. It has to at least, come on, Sharon, I know you're rushing, but it, it has to look right. It got to look right. Okay, let me start out by lining them up properly. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yeah, let me see. Somebody have so much trouble at tie ask um a bow. And this is okay. All right, this looks better. All right, I like this. What do you think? I like the scarf. 
because I like the additional color variation that it's adding. And y'all know I'm a color girl, girl, woman, woman. <laughs> and I like it. I'm going to go with the scarf. Yes. For my additional accessories. Is this accessory overload? The scarf, the earrings, the necklace. <laughs> but that's okay. Sharon, accessory overload. Me like it. All right. Now let's find the fragrance. And then my sunnies, then me half a go. All right. I'm going to try something new this week. Because all last week I wore one fragrance. And um, let's see. I'll maybe do, do a mixture. Hmm. Okay, when we got a mix-up, let's go in the, the, the chemist lab. <sighs> you know, Jo Malone, Mimosa, and Cardamom seems to go with a lot of fragrance. Let me see. Okay, I want this one. What am I going to mix it with? We're in the lab. I work right now, you know. The lab technician is trying to find the right scents to mix together. So the what the lab technician came up with, you know, the lab technician went into the lab and was smelling fragrances and trying to determine which one to mix. And what the technician came up with is Joe Malone, Mimosa, and Cardamom, and Joe Malone, Rose, and Magnolia. So let's see if the lab technician was right about the choices. Let's spray this one first i'm putting on the mimosa and cardamom first okay i love this fragrance mm, mm. y'all yeah, know me and gotta do the legs gotta do the legs especially behind the knee <laughs> i don't know what is my thing well if i my knee if i'm wearing a skirt gotta go behind the knee all right so that was the first one Let's let it marinate a little bit, just a smidgen, you know, this, this is the marinade dance, you know, you just a, a marinade, a marinade. All right. So now let's put on rose and magnolia. Let's see that, <laughs> how that works. Huh? It's interesting. Yes! Okay, yes! This is oh yes! This is a winner! Winner winner chicken dinner! Yes! Oh okay, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Me like, me like, me like, me like, me like. Yes, yes, yes. Oh love those two together. I am so happy that work. <laughs> the lab technician hit the nail on the head. Alright, now Sunny's they may have to go, may have to go, may have to go. All right, I brought in two pairs. One of them I forgot because me can't go back and get no, no more because me now have no time. Um, I brought this, the, my purple Versace. Let's see. Ooh, me like, let me show you. So the, here is the purple Versace. I mean, what do y'all think with the shades of purple? And then the shades of purple with the bag. Huh? What do you think? Okay. Then we have another Versace. The black one is black. Oh. This one is pretty bold. Because of the, the gold that goes across. You know, I'm going to go with this one. I, I like the gold that goes across. And all the gold that I have up here, it's bold. And today I'm going to be doing bold. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, I'm going to like it. Like, yeah. So, this is my look for today. I really have to go. Me go sooner tomorrow. All right, bye-bye. Hmm, which J 
jacket will it be today for jacket week? Hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> I already know which jacket it's going to be. Or blazer. Whatever terminology you want to use. It's going to be this blazer today. And this blazer is from Zara. And I think it's um, maybe about two years about two years old or so yeah so this is a two-year-old jacket from Zara and I'm going to pair it with a dress so today we're going to be doing blazer with a dress and I'm pairing it with this dress that this is old it's old it's old y'all I was tired last night I didn't feel like I was just too tired to pick something out so what do I do when I'm too tired we go with neutrals <laughs> I'm a little concerned because this dress is very old. It's one of my smaller size. So I hope it fits. <laughs> I didn't try it on. I hope it fits. So we may have a change <laughs> if this doesn't work. But the good thing about it, the jacket is neutral. It's a neutral color. So I could essentially pull another dress out and it will work fine. So let's go ahead. Pray with me. In hope that this dress fits let's put it on the dress fits yes thank you because <laughs> I really didn't want me bothered to find another dress so let's put the jacket on <laughs> or blazer whatever terminology you want to use all right I like I like the blazer with it I think this works I think it complements this kind of has like a um, an army print the colors the variations of the the greens the browns well not green the variation of brown or olivey green color that's in there okay so my shoes Y'all, I had the perfect color shoes to match the jacket. My Steve Madden pumps. Don't these just match the jacket perfectly? I was so happy when I found these. You know when you go shopping in your closet and you find stuff you forgot about? It's like, yes, 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 that works. That be me. <laughs> A lot of times. It's like, oh, yes, sure, and you have it. <laughs> so here is the shoes. Let me stand on the podium so you could get a good look at the shoes. They complement the jacket perfectly. Oh, all right. <laughs> Enough of that. Yeah, love these shoes. They work perfectly. Okay, so the shoes is on. Now for the other accessories. I wasn't going to do too much. Like I said, I was very tired last night. So I'm going to keep it simple or Sharon's terminology of simple. You know, it's all relative. And I have this choker. Um, don't know where it came from. <laughs> I don't remember. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think it was Sheen. I'm not 100% sure about it. But I think just something around my neck will work with this just to give it some zhuzh. And I'm going to add, did I bring this earring to it? I think this earring will work. Whoop, whoop. So dropping. Let's put it on. You guys, it's chilly here this morning and my fingers are not working right. I feel like I'm all thumbs. You know, it's like my the top part of here is kind of numb when it's when the weather changes. I don't know what it is, but it's like the, the, my um, fingers just get numb. It's most annoying because when that happens, you know, I already got these long nails, and then my numb fingers, <laughs> my hands really don't want to work. It's like right here gets like a nummy feeling i don't know what that is I wonder if it's something i should get checked out or 
asked my doctor. Oh, talking about that, I need to schedule my annual physical. I get two types of physical in a year. I go to my um, OBGYN. Every woman should have an OBGYN, you know, for the female part. And then I have my family practitioner who I go to to handle everything else. So I go to my OBGYN on my birthday. I do my, I get my breast exam and my annual physical for the woman parts every October, every October without fail. And in April, I go to my um, family doctor for everything else for my annual physical. So I need to get that done. Okay. <laughs> and that's the medical update this morning. <laughs> We need to take care of ourselves, okay? We got to take care of the temple that God has blessed us with. Anyhow, so this is the accessory, the choker with the earrings. I think it does, it jazzes up the outfit a little bit. And this is all the accessory I'm going to wear today. This is it. Which for Sharon is very, 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 very simple. We all know that. All right, so the bag for today is going to be... My very, 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 very old, almost as old as me, um, Gucci bag. This is vintage, 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 all, 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 all. But you know, it stands the test of time. And I like it with this outfit. I think it's perfect. Yeah, like I said, I was tired last night, so it was going to be a neutral, neutral, neutral look. Now, let's get the perfume going. Oh, before we move on to the perfume, let me show you the eye color today. So today, I went with this Urban Decay palette. Isn't it pretty? So this is the Urban Decay palette. And what I'm wearing, let me show you what I'm wearing in my eyes. Can you see? Are we up close and personal? <laughs> so I actually use my, bla um, my Black Radiance palette. I use this color all over my eyelid. So this is a great, another great palette to multitask. And then... I use this one on the top. Can you see? Yeah, this color on the top of my eyelid. And I use this color to line the lid. And I put a little bit of this one in the in the in the corner. So that's what I have on today. That's the color. And my lippy is gonna be Laroque and <laughs> The color, the name of this color is so funny. Cat Lady. That's the name of this color, Cat Lady. So this is the color I'm wearing from Lorac, Cat Lady. And I'm not a cat lady, I'm a dog lady. I don't know how Bella would go out with the cat. Okay, so that's the lip color that I'm wearing now. Perfume. Should we be a chemist again this morning and mix perfume? Huh? Should we mix? Hold on. I should. Mm. Who is calling me? My grandson. Hold on a second. <laughs> Y'all, excuse me. Let me answer this. Katie? Can Nana call you back? Katie, Nana have to call you back. Let, na na let Nana call you back, okay? I know you're trying to FaceTime me. I'm ta I'm videotaping. Can I call you back? I can't FaceTime you. I know you're trying to FaceTime you. I'm talking to you from my watch. Can I call? Excuse me for a moment, y'all. <laughs> okay, let me call you right back. Okay, Pumpkin? Okay, I'll call you right back, okay? I know you're trying to FaceTime me, but I don't have my phone right now. I'm talking to you from my watch. <sighs> yeah, I have to wrap this up because he will not stop until he can FaceTime me. Let's do this quick. We're not going to mix fragrance today. We're just going to spray something that I know I love and like because until he gets to see me, he is not going to stop. He's going to call and call and call until he gets to see my face let me tell you something the love that that child has for his grandmother is beyond it, it, <laughs> it's not, it is beyond so my fragrance for today is my um 
Lulu Al Khalid. This is the fragrance. This is what we're going with. The Sunnies. I'm wearing my Fendi. Lord, he not stopping. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to see my Nana today. This is it. <laughs> what a video, huh? This is it. <laughs> this is the Sunnies. <laughs> my skinny ankles <laughs> so let's put that on I'm running a little late today but what is new <laughs> that is nothing new with Sharon it's always the case and you guys will not believe that I actually start my day at um, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. in the morning but I don't know I, I am just very leisurely when I get up you know I get up <laughs> the alarm goes off I get up I turn it off I get up I sit up then um, I go in my closet and spend about 30 minutes with my devotion the first thing I do I get up go go in my closet because that's where I, I have my study area set up the closet in my bedroom and you know spend about 30 minutes with our Heavenly Father then I proceed with my exercise and I do that for about 30 minutes <laughs> then I proceed with walking Bella <laughs> so it's a lot <laughs> a lot in the morning before I even take my shower and get dressed and, <laughs> and everything else but I don't know I just, I just I I just don't rush like I used to or it's like in a panic you know I gotta go I can't those, those days are over I don't, I don't know <laughs> I just don't know but anyhow, let's get let's get back to <laughs> getting dressed in the fashion at hand here. All right, so these are the boots. Love them. Aren't they cute? Okay. So now for the jacket of the week. Okay. Before I show you the jacket, wait a minute. Let me just make sure me not show everything pan camera. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me fix myself. <laughs> hold on. All right. Did I fix my school on? <laughs> hold on a minute. Hold, hold it, hold it. Okay. I think I should have tied the interior tie. Just tied the outside. All right. Back to the jacket. Before I show you the jacket, we all agree that this is a judgment-free zone. We all know that Sharon have issues. Okay. I am going to tell you. I am happy. I started this process about focusing on jackets or blazers, whatever you want to call them, jacket, blazer, whatever. Because if I had not focused on wearing blazers this week, I may have missed this blazer once again. Okay, so here's the blazer. <sighs> this is a Zara blazer I've had in my closet for over two years. Still got the tag never wore it nobody now judge me this is a judgment-free zone y'all know me already who's been watching me y'all know 
I'm just happy I found it. And I, I literally was like, okay, what blazer are you going to wear today? And I was going through blazer. This was not my first pick. This was like my third pick because I had a different outfit plan. But I was looking at it last night. I, I said, no, I'm not feeling it. So I was going through the blazers. And then I came across this. I'm like, and I pulled it up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Sharon, it still has the tag on it. So we're wearing it today. The point is, <laughs> we are wearing it today. So this is a Zara blazer that's over two years old, sitting in my closet. Me, I wear it today. All right, it's getting worn today. And I'm going to wear it with this skirt. Who is this? This is an oldie, oldie. Yes, yeah, Sunny Lay, oldie, oldie skirt, Sunny Lay. And then just a little... Um, who is this one? Oh, another. This is a, a Zara top. This is old. Have I've had this for a while. This is one of those basic that you just you just have in your closet for moments like this. So I'm gonna start off by putting the skirt and the top on, and then I'll be right back. All right, I have the skirt and my Zara basic top on. I love tops like these that have the really tight neck without flapping. <laughs> you know, I love these. And especially as we age, this, this is rather complimentary. <laughs> All right, so let's finally cut this tag off of this jacket that I might be judged for having in my closet for over two years and not wearing. Not being judged for that. I appreciate that. But before I put the jacket on, I'm going to wear some pins. And I want to pin the pins on before I put the jacket on. Because I think that will be easy than me trying to struggle to put them on. I could set them up the way I want them. But let me show you the pins. So these are the pins. It's kind of like this moon one. And this one. And this one. Pins, brooches, whatever you want to call it. So let me see now. Let me see how I want to design this. Yeah, I think I figured. Okay. So I find it easier to put the pin on before I put the jacket on. No, which way I want to. Which is it? Do I want to put it on this side of the? I think it. Let me see. Which side? This side. <laughs> Let's do it on this side. I find it easier. Because that way I could put it exactly, places exactly where I want to place it. And then it should be easier, which it is, for me to see. Okay, let me see. I think that will work. Watch me put pin all of these pin, these three pins on, put the jacket on and then change my mind. <laughs> Because you know, that is entirely possible with me. That could be a possibility. But hopefully, it won't. Hopefully, I'm happy with it. And go with it. If I was just wearing one pin, I wouldn't be so concerned. Let's see. Do I want this one this way. How do I want that one? Let's try it this way. The last one. Let me see. Okay. And then I want to pin it without also damaging the jacket. Oh, well, this didn't quite go where I wanted it. Let's change it. See, when it don't quite go where I, where I want it, it's just easy to change it. All right, okay, so the last one I give me trouble. You see how the last picnic is? The last picnic. <laughs> That's not true. My last child did not give me any trouble. <laughs> he is an amazing young man. Hey, Wolfie. That's what I call him. That's his nickname. You see how I can't get the last one in? Jeez, I'm bread. All right. Come on, why are you giving me trouble? It's not, I don't. Okay, there we go, finally. Come on, 
Now where's the little hole? <laughs> this child, this last picnic up. <laughs> Y'all know what a picnic is? It's a child. This is Jamaican terminology. The picnic. Alright, there we go. We get the last picnic in. Now let's put the jacket on. Jeez, you, I hope I like it. 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 Okay. <laughs> Enough of that, Sharon. Because after all that, to put them all on and then don't like it will be problematic. Um, let me let me look. Let me look because I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a nut. I am a nut. You know what I'm going to do? I don't like the three of them. I think what I will do <laughs> is simply wear one. <laughs> I'll just wear one one of them all right let's take that off let's take after all that and don't like it put all the holes in my coat I'm just gonna wear this this big um the flower looking one I'm gonna wear this one I'm just gonna put this one on and call it a day that's what I should have done from the get-go <laughs> You know, go with your first thought because initially when I pulled the, when I pulled the looking at brooches, I pulled this one out and I was just going to wear this one. Then I got the brilliant idea. Why don't you stack three? Didn't like that brilliant idea. I guess it wasn't such a brilliant idea after all now, was it? All right, let's try this. Yeah. I prefer the one. <laughs> Yeah. You know, now I'm looking. I'm thinking I should have worn um, not not tights, but maybe dark black sheer hose. But you know what? This is what we're going with. I don't have the time to take off the boots, take off everything, put the hose on. I, I should have worn black sheer hose, but. Because it's chilly it, this morning, but it may go from, because right now we're like in the 40s, but they anticipate us going into the high 60s, maybe hitting 70. So that's why I didn't pull a hose out, because I'm like, it's going to warm up, so you don't need a hose. But now I'm looking at it, I thought, I'm thinking maybe I should have. But anyhow, this is what it is, and this is what I'm going to go with. Get over it, Trina. All right, let me get, let me bypass this. Now for the earring, let me show you the earring so I could... Forget about the whole the whole whole situation. All right, so this is the earring I'm wearing today. I'm glad I took. Uh, oops, don't fall, don't fall. I'm glad I took off the other two um, brooches because with this long, this dangly, dangly earring, that may have been a little bit too much. <laughs> My earlobes give me trouble. Is anybody finding that their earlobe is getting thinner as we age? <laughs> I see. I didn't have um, thick earlobes to begin with, anyhow. And it's just like they're getting thinner. Do I like this earring? Let me put, you know, let me see. Let me put the other one on. You know, I'm not up here complaining about aging because I, the alternative. But then again, why worry about the alternative? Because, you know, the alternative could be heavenly. <laughs> All right. I like this. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> I like this earring. It's fun. <laughs> just happy you know sometimes you get up and you're just happy every irrespective of what's going on just just I'm just 
happy. All right, let's get this show on the road because I did say I don't have a whole lot of time. I mean, up here, I dance and I carry on and I talk about this is fun, this is fun. Let me show you my eye color today. All right, I use Huda's palette, Huda Beauty palette, and I use this color over my entire eyelid. <laughs> I use this one in the outer and I use a little bit of this one in the inner so those are the colors I use from the Huda Beauty palette today and of course y'all know my contour y'all know this palette my black radiance palette my lippies for today is an oldie it's a BH cosmetic and the color is pop pop cultured and here's the color beautiful pink and I topped it off with this pink Avon with this pink lip gloss from Avon I mean I just a drop it these are brave but we have dropsy let me just a drop everything must he have dropsy all right so that's it oh 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 we're gonna play a game let's play a game what bag would you wear with this look at the outfit and tell me what bag would you wear? What color bag? Would you go basic black? You know, would you wear a metallic? Would you add another color? You tell me. What color would you wear with this outfit? I am curious. What may I go wear this color? <laughs> This is the cup bag I'm wearing. This is the color. My Valentina. I decided I want to add another color to this outfit. You know? Oh, I see a string. Hold on a second here. See a string? Let me cut this string off. This is the one thing about these Zara blazers. Then don't finish it off by cutting off the extra excess string. You always have to, before you wear them, check to make sure all the strings are cut off. I think all right that one gone okay back to the bag so i decided look at here my bracelet tangle i decided i wanted to add another color so i added this blue this cute little blue valentino bag so that's my bag for today and let me go ahead and drop my lipstick in there because you know this is not a Chanel lipstick that lasts all day. I'm going to need to touch it up. My Chanel lasts all day. But I love, I love the color. Okay, now for sunnies. Wait, before we do the sunnies, I'm all over the place. Before we do the sunnies, let's do the perfume. Should we have the, um, what the, the what they call the people who do perfumes? Um perfumologist <laughs> technician come in this morning and find a mixture I think I just made up a name perfumologist technician yes let's go with that let's see what they come up with oh you know what wait a minute there is this oil when I went to the flea market you guys remember I got um the oil from this guy okay yeah let me try oh yes 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 <laughs> So if you saw my flea market video when we went to the flea market did i show that i got this oil from the guy who had the shea butter it's called pleasure let me yeah he called it pleasure <laughs> pleasure <laughs> when i tell you it's a pleasure smelling this oh oh yes 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 oh this oil Mm, 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 mm. Oh gosh, I'm not even gonna mix it with nothing else. Let's just, I'm not gonna mix it. Pleasure just needs to be by itself, even though it is an oil. So, if you, gosh, it smells so good. If you pray a cologne and an oil, you know what? Let's let's try, let's mix something with it. Let's just see. But pleasure smells so good. Do I just want to do pleasure? Okay, okay. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, this, this should be a good mix. I'm going to mix pleasure with floral lavender from Dossier. So floral lavender from Dossier and pleasure. 
Oh God, but pleasure smells so good. Okay, here goes, here goes, we here goes. Choo choo! Let it sit, let it sit. <sighs> Just let it sit for a moment. Let it marinate, let it mix together. <sighs> let it mix. <sighs> All right. Y'all, the perfumeologist came through. That was a good mixture. Oh my gosh, that smell so good. Oh, oh. Pleasure with this flora love. Oh, mm. I have to tell my sister because I think she got pleasure as well. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Smells so good. She got pleasure and I think she has this um, Dacia perfume. I'm going to tell her to mix them. Okay, so the perfume allergist came through today. That was a good mixture. Yay for the perfume allergist. Yay. All right, Sharon, Sharon, you say you're late. I mean, I know what you do. I carry on and I give applause to the perfume allergist and you have to go at work. Up here, so I play and I play and I play. What's wrong with you, child? Jeez, I'm bright girl. Anyhow, so my son is for today. <laughs> I'm going to wear my LV. Yes. So this is the LV and for you guys who've been following me supporting me for a minute I know the story behind this this was a gift from my beautiful sissy C sissy I'm wearing the glasses I haven't worn them in a long 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 time this was my gift what four years ago I love them but I haven't worn them in a minute so wearing them today okay so this is the look this is the look for today me have to go it. bye All right, so this is the final day of All About Coats, so let's get dressed. So let's get right to it. Today, I'm going to be putting together one of my favorite color combination. Hold on a second here. <laughs> if I could get this out. All right. <laughs> so the coat, uh, you know, let me, blazer, let me use the correct terminology. The blazer we're going to be wearing today, I've selected, is this pink blazer. So this is my pink blazer, and I got this blazer from Shein. It's a Shein blazer. And I'm going to pair that today with red. Pink and red is one of my favorite color combination. Love, 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 love them together. And this red pants came from, where you come from? Zara. I got this red pants from Zara. And my top in this ensemble. <laughs> okay, this is a situation, y'all. <laughs> I have two tops. Um, one is this t-shirt that I really want to wear because this is a I have had this t-shirt for a long 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 time never wore it but I'm trying to decide if it's you know what people may consider work appropriate because it says not my problem <laughs> tell me I'm trying to say something without trying to say something so I'm like Sharon can you wear this to work so I I'm going back and forth about that. And then I have this Zara top, another Zara top. <sighs> so that's my options for today. But I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to be down and I'm going to be honest. <sighs> I know this may not be considered work appropriate. I know. But guess what? I think I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. So my loves let me put on <laughs> my first two layers and i'll be right back all right i have my pieces on yeah i mean when i told you i gained a little weight over the holidays and i needed to lose it i think i may have lost a little bit more weight than i intended to but anyhow um should i belt belt or not to belt let's see let me put let's see if i i have I found that I have one red belt. I wanted a smaller red belt, but I don't have a small red belt. So that's a deficit I'm going to have to fix. 
All right. Do I want to belt it? And this is more like a waist belt, and this this pants kind of drops. So, you know what? We want belt. We're not going to belt, so we'll leave the belt today. <laughs> I don't think the pants gonna fall off of me. Gee, Sharon, you lost a little bit more weight than you planned. Okay, now let me put on the shoes. I'm just gonna be wearing some red pumps, and I'm going. Whoop! I'm gonna be wearing my red Steve Madden patent leather pump. I just wanted to change up the texture a bit just to lend, give the outfit just a little bit more interest if I could put the shoes on. <laughs> there we go. The shoes is on. Okay. Yeah. I think these red pumps, perfect. And the patent leather, changing up the texture just gives it a little bit more interest. Now for the jacket. This is, this is. This is the plan that's not going to, that's going to help not make this, <laughs> it's not my problem, not so visible. So I, you know, I figure when you put the jacket on, <laughs> unless they walk into my office and it's really irritating me, then I'll have to do this. <laughs> what do y'all think? You know, in my mind, today's kind of like my Friday anyhow. So this is a little, this is just a tad bit Friday casual for me. But I like the, I like the, the what's the word, the juxtaposition of the casual t-shirt with the jacket and the pants. I like this look. Now we're going to style it up a bit. We're going to add some accessories. And the thing that I wanted to add is pearls, which is unusual with this um, outfit, I think. So let me, let's see. Let's class up this t-shirt. <laughs> add pearls. So this is the first layer of pearls, but we're not done. We're going to add a couple more layers of pearls. I mean, I brought a whole, um, well, not a whole bunch, because one thing I am not lacking in is in pearls. <laughs> I have lots of pearls, varying size, color, because, whoop, kind of a pearl addict. All righty. Here is the other one. We're going to add more. <laughs> We're going to add some more. Just wrap them around. Let's layer them. Me take me, me done. Me done. Me done. This is it. This is it. So now my it's not my problem is not so obvious. <laughs> I classed this up a bit. Look at that. Okay, tell me the pearls didn't make a difference. I mean, come on now. Excuse me, I gotta get a tissue. Get my, oh, uh, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay. Sorry. Oh, these allergies. But anyhow, if this is all I have to worry about, I'm good. There's plenty more stuff going on. All right. So this is the pearl. I really like it. I love it. I love it with the pearl. Now let's do the earring, the pearl earring. I am going, yeah, going to wear pearl earring. Ah. Sometimes I just like just to be different. And these are just some vintage pearl earring that I have. Oh, yes. I like, I like, I like. Me like, me like. Me like, 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 I really like this. <laughs> I like, I like, I really, really like. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> it's so different. Okay. All right. I'm happy, y'all. Can you tell? Now let's talk about um, my makeup for today. So my makeup for today, I just went with the um, 
makeup by Mario palette since I was wearing so much color I decided to go really neutral and I am wearing this color all over my eyelid this color then on the inner I put this color and I lined my eyes with the black I love 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 this palette makeup by Mar Mario and of course you know my um black radiance contour and highlight so that's my eye makeup today you see that's my eye makeup today and then my lippy is smash well lip gloss it's this sm smash box lip gloss and it's called what sorbet watch this is the color and i like it mm, mm, mm. So that's the makeup for today. <laughs> now, the bag. What bag would you guys wear with it? Hmm? What bag? <laughs> I could only pick one bag. <laughs> My Kurt Geiger. I thought this one with all the colors in it just amplified the outfit. You know? There is no shrinking violet over here. We're going to just throw it out, throw in all the colors. So I'm wearing my Kurt Geiger today. Let me just put my lipstick in because you know it's already packed. I just need to add my lipstick. Now for perfumes. Perfume, perfume, perfume. What we going to go with? Um, should I make, should I call out the, um, the technician, the perfume, it's not, a, what's the name for those people who do makes a perfume, it's, it's not a perfume technician, but that's what they call it, but anyhow, should I, should I do the perfume technician, or just go with, you know what, may I go with one solid, I'm going to go back to my, <laughs> to my Atkinson's Old Save the Queen, my signature fragrance, this, oh, uh, yeah, this fragrance oh, oh mm, mm. okay 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 stop stop sharing you gotta go i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go okay 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 enough of that but uh, let me tell you this fragrance does it for me oh love 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 oh love all right sunny it's gonna be a bright sunny day today some needs i'm gonna need some sunnies so i pulled the three out and i hope one of these three work because I if I have to run back in the room and, and go try and figure something out. First, we have up the red Versace. This is the red Versace. What do you think? What do you think? Huh? I like it. Okay. Then I decided... You know, just throw a white in there just to see. Me not know how it's gonna look. Look, 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 look. Make we see, make we see, make we see. So I threw the white Mew Mew in. You know, I think it could work. The white Mew Mew could work. Why not just go dark? So I pulled out the, the black Chanel. Here is the black Chanel. And honestly, this one is my least favorite. Yeah. No. Not the black Chanel. It's my least favorite. So it's between Mew Mew and Versace. Huh. together is it Mew Mew or 
is it Versace y'all I don't know <laughs> the sunglasses got me stumped <laughs> all right one more time okay you know what I'm gonna go with and I, I should know this I like the Versace but the minute I put on the white Mew Mew it spoke to me it really did it's like this outfit needed that neutral that white <laughs> you know <sighs> yeah I'm gonna go with the white Mew Mew so this is it this is the look for today yes 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 this is the look for today <laughs> thank you guys so very much for following along with me this week as i get dressed to go into the office i really appreciate you if you've come this far and not yet subscribed please consider subscribing come watch the crazy lady in the morning <laughs> to my supporters you guys are amazing thank you thank you thank you for your continually lifting me up and supporting me because trust and believe i would not have continued on past the year that i plan to do this without your support thank you thank you thank you i i really appreciate each and every one of you Want to continue supporting me? Thumbs up because those thumbs up really, really helps my channel with the algorithm. Comment. Let's talk. <laughs> yeah, I know I like to talk. Or like to see, read your comments and any suggestions you may have down below. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so very much. I always leave with find a reason for the smile. And my reason for smiling today is Joel 3.16. And it says, the Lord will roar from Zion and thunder from Jerusalem. The earth and the sky will tremble, but the Lord will be. Listen to this. The Lord will be a refuge for his people, a stronghold for the people of Israel. No matter what is going on in our lives, in your life, my life, no matter what storm comes, no matter what issues we may be facing know that our heavenly father is our refuge y'all i can't tell you how many times i'm like father i don't know how but you do but you do so i am leaning not on my own understanding but leaning on you because i know you got my back nobody ain't nobody got your back like our heavenly father Maybe the only one who would have given competition would be my mother when she was alive. Because that woman, let me tell you something. When it comes to her picnic, them, <laughs> her children, picnic children. Yeah. So maybe she was the only one. <laughs> and she up there, so with him right now. So him, him is the only one we have. <laughs> Nobody has your back like God. God is a powerful a powerful refuge and so because i know he is my refuge and a powerful one that's my reason for smiling you find your reason to, to smile and until next time this is sharing saying bye bye <laughs>